Okay, how evil are class of 09 characters? We're starting this list with Nicole. Nicole didn't do many evil things, to be honest. She only just blackmailed people, ruined lives, dealt drugs, manipulated people, killed them, and broke a photo lap. Reminder that this kid sold drugs because she didn't want to fill in her community hours, she's a legit way. But one of her character tropes is bad childhood, so she gets a pass and goes into the moralist tier. Jekka is at first glance a normal girl, until you realize she's almost as rotten to the core as Nicole. She's a thief, does drugs, stepped on people, and even manipulated a guy into killing his mom. So I thought it over and I killed my mom. She is definitely not as innocent as people think she is. Next up, Ari. She does drugs and is gay, but dies in a car crash. Hey, watch out! Ah! Oh my god! Next up is Emily. She's a ticking time bomb. Not the same bomb Mr. White used to blow up a bingo night, but a scary 5'6 girl. She is so moralist, she even made Nicole double guess her actions. Ho hold up. You're gonna OD in front of the class? We're gonna OD. Uh, are you sure about that? Are you backing out? No, no, I'm cool. Shut the f Moralist tier. Jeffrey, shot up a school after everyone found out he liked feet. He isn't morally evil. He genuinely is just a weird anime kid. Uh, who shot up a school? Next, we have Karen, who literally is the purest kid in the game. She actually had a convo with Jeffrey, which is something very rare in this game. She is so pure, she doesn't even know what... Told me he never skated on a girl with glasses before and wanted me to be his first. Did he now? Yeah, baller shot caller, dude. Principal Lin, who let literal PDF files roam around to school but at least fired them when someone found out. I genuinely don't know what to say about this kid except that she committed zero crimes in the entire game and she's just a huge dumbass. The mother is on the edge of evil. However, after giving my daughter countless chances of redeeming herself, I too would be a little on edge and ruin her life permanently. Like bro, it's still your kid. What is wrong with you? You just don't put her out of house. You literally have a PDF file, son. Fix him first. Also, speaking about PDF files, Kyler isn't one, don't worry about that, he just touched a woman without her consent, but broke a photo lap. Then jump off a roof and finally beat up a homeless person, killed his mother and that's pretty much it. Illegally possesses a gun and is just a huge idiot overall. Control freak, but good at heart, but still genuinely annoying. Coach. Colby literally is the vilest character in the game. This dude strangled and then Nicole's body amongst countless of other female students. Now the cop who wants to kill his wife and therefore blindly shot a girl five times for stealing a $12 CD. You know, you remind me of my wife a bit. I wanna fucking kill my wife! The counselor is Coach Colby, but not fat. He purposely took the job to prey on vulnerable girls, seeking for counseling to strike them when they are least expected. He is so bold, he acts out students in broad daylight and then gets angry when he gets caught because of his negative risk. I'm gonna skip Crispin because screw Crispin. <laughs> what the fuck? You're under arrest for uh, uh, digital misconduct with a minor. Oh, the Kenzie bitch snitched me out, god damn- Fuck Mr. Berlin. And lastly, Mr. White. Started a white pride movement which indirectly caused the school to be burned down and blew up a Puerto Rican rice bingo night all because of his skin color. Anyway, uh, that was the video. Uh, thank you channel members for existing.